What's going on guys, Gibbs here. I'm just going to show you real quick, or tell you real quick, how to unlock the Armadillo from Gears of War, as you can see here, and the Hog Sticker, or the Warthog, from Halo. So this is the Armadillo first, we'll go over that. It is um, unlockable by beaten season mode. Doesn't matter what difficulty, it doesn't matter how many games, you just got to win the season mode, there's playoffs at the end. Uh, so I think the smallest is nine weeks. We can actually go into that real quick and show you. Yeah, so like I just completed my championship to unlock it. It was nine weeks, and then you have two playoff rounds is the easiest way to do it. And uh, this is the Armadillo. We'll go into the garage and show it off. So Armadillo, you can't change any paint. You can't add any hats or anything like that to this vehicle um, or the Warthog or Hog Sticker, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but you can change paint color, so I have the red on for the Gears of War, but for each team, like, you have all your colors. Per usual. We'll, we'll stick to the red for now. Tires are just armadillo tires. Look like that. And then we got the UV turret, uh, boost. Sounds pretty nice, actually. But yeah, th th this was used, I think, in the first game against the Krill. I can't remember if it was the first one or the second one. Uh, it could have been used more often, too. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Hats, again, you can't use You can't use antennas either. We're, uh, we'll jump uh, real quick into an exhibition match. So you can hear the car in action. I'll be quiet for the engines. It doesn't have much of an engine, but you can hear it for sure. There's the boost. Pretty simple. I haven't actually used the car yet, so I'm not sure exactly how it feels. It does have six wheels. I think it's the only car that has six wheels in this game, so. We win. I had mutated around for one goal, so. Hey, look, we got the Royal Crown Topper. All right, let's back out of that. And now I'll show you the Halo Hog Sticker, or also known as the Warthog. I'm not sure why they couldn't use the term Warthog, but go here. We'll go to the more green color for the Warthog. You can't get too dark, though, so this is as good as I can get. Anyway, so it's called the Hog Sticker. has two Needlers as boost on the back. Got a turret. It says Halo. says UNC. has the insignia. All that fun stuff. has a tow cable in the front. Got its tusks. Got its Puma wheels. We'll go over that real quick. So paints, again, like you can change, but you can't change paint type when you can't add hats and all that. The Puma wheels. And the Needler Boost, which is actually really, really cool. They actually bounce off the ground and stuff. We did a little test, and like you can see them here. When they drop too low, they kind of bounce um, off the ground, which is nice. Go, look at them go. Like, this is a really cool boost. I like it a lot. It's a neat addition to add some Covenant into the mix. Again, no hats, no antennas. So let's go into a game again. Hopefully we get blue team. It'll probably be opposite, of course. Oh, no, we did. Okay. So, uh, this engine's a lot better, personally. Now, the way to unlock the hog sticker, I said, again, I'll say the Gears of War car, the Armadillo, you need to beat season mode. But for the hog sticker, you need to play one game with every car. And that's all you have to do. Um, you don't have to win uh, every game with win one game per car you just have to play one game and complete it which i'll show you in a second because i actually got it on a loss on my last car um which i'll show in the stats real quick so you can confirm that so if you look at my cars of course uh, this uh, um excludes uh, the armadillo like you can get the hog sticker before the armadillo like you, uh, that's the only card that you don't need plus the delorean because that's dlc it's, uh, so you don't need those two cars, but every other car, like, you need to get one win on. You unlock the cars randomly, but they're always, like, in front. Like, you'll get them in your first, like, 30 or, four, like, 30 unlocks, probably. You'll probably have all the cars by then. So, see, it backfire is a win. Breakout, Dominus. Pretty much every car is a win, but not uh, Zippy, I think. Yeah, so Zippy, I have zero wins on. So, you can see that it's just completing games, not actually winning them. And yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, so this is how you unlock the cars, um, in case you were wondering. 
Warthog's awesome. I've uh, used the Warthog a lot. Um, I like how it feels. I haven't used the Armadillo too much yet, but I'll probably hop into rank soon and try it out. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time. Later.